Let's be clear, we want a ton of new spells in the sequel. Aguamenti, Expecto Patronum, Fiendfire… But what are the chances of them actually happening? Funny you ask. Here I have a list of 18 spells that were found in the code of the game that were once considered to be part of Hogwarts Legacy, making them very likely to be in the sequel, and we're gonna talk about all of them right now. Now, this list was found on the PC version of Hogwarts Legacy by the owner of the Grand Theft Diamonds YouTube channel, alongside other scrapped features like recorded dialogues for the companions and traces of a scrapped morality system. Some of these spells have their more powerful maxima versions, others can be modded to cast in the game and they'll have their own unique animation. And while it all seems pretty legit, still take this information with a grain of salt, after all this is stuff found on the internet, but I've organized these spells in alphabetical order, and there's so many of them, so let's just jump right in. Aguamenti is a charm that produces a jet of clean, drinkable water. And since there is the Maxima version, it probably was supposed to evolve into something major like Incendio or Deposso. I guess the Maxima version would also release like a wave of water in all the directions. But my hopes are that we're gonna be able to cast the Orb of Water, the spell that Dumbledore cast in the Ministry of Magic against Voldemort. Okay, this one is freaking huge, but it kind of threw me off because it says Animagus spell and the ability to turn into Animagus is not necessarily a spell. Like you do have to cast a spell to become an Animagus during a thunderstorm for like a month or so. But I think this kind of makes sense in terms of a gameplay because like, for example, Knapsack is not a spell, but it is slottable. So it's going to be in a similar category of slottable abilities slash spells. I wonder if we're going to have the ability to also choose the animal we're going to transform to, which animal would you choose to be? I think I would do either eagle or a wolf. Apparition is also not really a spell, but you do need to have a wand in your hand while doing the apparition. But it's interesting how it was considered to be in the game, but I guess this had both technical and lore issues. You do need to be at least 17 years of age to apparate. And on the other hand, the ability to seamlessly teleport to literally any point on the map needs the full power of the PS5 and Xbox series. I mean, you can't really do that seamlessly, at least on last gen consoles. But if they're going to go full on PS5, Xbox series with a sequel, then probably we're going to have this comeback. Okay, the next one is hilarious, Bat Boogie Hack. So I wasn't 100% sure about this particular spell, so I had to Google. So this hex makes your snot boogies turn into bats and they fly out out of your nose, which I don't know how you would you use it, like except like a prank, but I guess it could be terrifying if you have bats appear in your nose and probably could be painful if they if they increase. Oh, yo, oh my God. Imagine you, you cast boogie, bat boogie hex and then Engorgio and it's. OK, I'll stop talking, but I think this could be used as a distraction in, 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 in the game where your freaking head explodes because bats got too big. Now, this one can actually be modded to be cast in the game, and it makes the enemy's eyes glow and have sparkles circle their head. I think this was an alternative, non-evil way of controlling enemies and making them attack other NPCs and accidentally also us, which does link up to the alleged scrapped morality system. Episke, a healing charm, is used to heal minor injuries like broken noses and small cuts. In the game, it could perfectly work as a lesser substitute to the Wiganwold potion. If you run out of it, you can use Episke to recover little bits of your or your companion's life bar. And it probably won't be as quick as like drinking a potion, so you have to make sure that you're not interrupted while healing. Okay, now we're getting into the heavy artillery. Expecto Patronum and Expecto Patronum Maxima. This perfectly matches to two versions of the Patronos, the incorporeal and corporeal. And, but the thing is, I first thought that like, oh, this is just the spell that the NPCs cast, but wait a second. We only see Maxima version of the Expecto Patronum during the Hufflepuff version of Jack Daw's quest. Where's the regular version? So it makes me think like they were considering Expecto Patronum to be part of the game. But yo, I, w I really hope that we're going to be able to choose our Patronus or at least it's going to be linked to the thing. Let me know which Patronus is yours. 
Um, don't ask. I don't want to talk about which is what is my Patronus. Uh, next, Expulsor. It's a freaking pheasant, okay? It's a freaking chicken, a forest chicken duck, like a dinner turkey type of Patronus. I actually denounced it, like I created a completely different account in order to do a different Patronus, but I haven't selected it yet because I want something cool and I want to like manipulate the system so I get something cool. Not a freaking chicken. <laughs> What the hell? I'm so pissed. Expulso is a destruction curse that is used to turn different objects into rubble. And in Hogwarts Legacy, this spell is cast by the enemies, but it only has one version. And it makes me think that this spell at some point was considered to be alongside the Incendio, Bombarda, Confringo spells. And some people will say like, well, this is just another destruction spell, we have others. Well, like, I wouldn't say nay to a creme brulee if it's available to us. Like, I would perfectly choose to cast four destructive spells in a row. And it would be especially helpful with trolls. And just, like, why not? Pinfire is a dark magic curse that produces enchanted flames of immense size and heat that can take the form of fiery beasts. And you know, like the whole thing with NPCs casting Fire Tornado, which is not Fiendfire, it's Firestorm, the spell from Habla Prince. It's like a thirst trap. It's like they're teasing like, ha 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 ha, these guys can cast it. Technically you can, but we're not letting you do that. Wait for the sequel for that to happen. You know, it's like they're like, they're ambitious, they're ballsy. So, but yeah, that's basically my point. If if there is fire tornado in the game, fin fire will happen. And actually in the list, it's not in alphabetical order. It stands together with Avada Kedavra all the way up top, not where the F is. So I'm like, huh, maybe it was, because it is a dark curse. Maybe it's like, it's close to being unforgivable because it's also very dangerous. You need to know how to control it and you need to know how to stop the casting, the continuous casting of fin fire. Otherwise, you know what happens. These are called finishers, and I believe these are all ancient magic finishers, but not all of them we've seen. So we have seven different finishers, right? We have the chicken, the fiery explosion and it flies away, the lightning, the explosion, the slamming. For spiders, they turn small and you squish them. And for trolls, you smash with a club. Did I miss any? But here we have Crystal Shatter. I never heard of that one. Like we do that with Glacius, but that's not a finisher. Then Deep Freeze, another one that is like new. Fiery Sand, that's, we do have that one. Flash Sand, uh, maybe that's the spider, I don't know. Scarab Burst, what is that? W what do you mean Scarab? Do, does, a, does a person turn into a bug? And then Super Slams, we have that one. So we have at least three or four different brand new finishes and it's not that big of a deal but it's interesting that they were thinking about different ways of using ancient magic and maybe in the sequel they will implement ancient magic into actual slottable spells as we you know with the story we grow more accustomed to ancient magic we'll learn more from it and maybe we're going to be able to create brand new spells and we you know there's going to be spell crafting in the sequel where we'll be crafting ancient magic spells Incarcerous is a spell that conjures thick ropes and bonds anything the wand is pointed at. Which is cool. I mean, it would be an additional way of controlling the enemies on the battlefield. And if it appears in the sequel, cool. Yeah. Okay, this one. Instant Scalping Hex. Okay, I have no idea what the hell is. That sounds freaking horrifying. I have to actually Google what is a scalping hex. Instant scalping. This is a hex that instantly scalps all the hair of the target. Okay, well, wow, all right. <laughs> okay, that's terrifying and sounds painful, but also, well, my, my question is, does it like make it a haircut or you rip it off with the skin? Okay, just move, let's let's move on. Or oh, maybe that's a secret spell of Poppy. <laughs> that's what she does to all the uh, nifflers. <laughs> Come 
Lumos Maxima. Oh my god, I'm so excited that this spell is actually in the game. So Lumos Maxima is a more powerful version of an illuminating charm, Lumos, which produces a much stronger beam of light and can also materialize in a form of an orb. While in Hogwarts Legacy, we had a great representation of Lumos with its sound Lumos. and visual effects. Maybe in the sequel, we're going to be Lumos. able to use it like a weapon because so many times I would accidentally cast Lumos in battles and like, oh, there you go. <laughs> but you can actually blind the enemies and like distract them like, you know, like you do it with Mandrakes. This could have similar effect or in other situations you can cast you know, the little bowl of, wa of water, uh, the ball of light <laughs> that will follow around and light things up and or maybe follow you. Oblivion. Obliviate. We all remember what is this spell, right? The scene Deathly Hallows part one with Hermione and the parents. Um, so I don't know what would be the, the real reason to have this spell in the game unless you have an elaborate mechanic coming with this spell. And maybe that mechanic is exactly how I describe it in another video. Like if someone put bounty on you, then instead of paying off the bounty, you obliviate them. But otherwise, like we already have Crucio and potentially Confundo, you know, maybe there was a story that made us learn Obliviate and use it during that quest. But then the developers couldn't find another way of using the spell in other situations. So they just scrapped both the spell and the little storyline. Who knows? I feel like it does need a, spe a specific mechanic, like a good reason to be using this spell more than just once. Apogno. All right. This is freaking huge. Okay, see this scene? See these flying shards of glasses? That's a pogno, okay? Well, <laughs> that's glass, but I mean, Voldemort casts a pogno on those shards and they're flying towards Harry. That's a pogno. And imagine we can do, we can cast all of this. We destroyed a building, we destroyed a bunch of glass or whatever, or I don't know, it's winter and the, 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 the lake is frozen and we like, a pogno! And this whole freaking army of debris and glasses and broken ice just swarms and just like rushes towards the enemy. Oh my freaking God. That would be so marvelous. We do have ancient magic throw. That's just one thing. And it, it wouldn't work exactly like the ancient magic throw. It would be like, a pogno! And it would like organize together. There would be animation and then it rushes towards. But there's also <laughs> a pogno MT version, which I don't know what, like, wh what is this for? Like, what does MT stand for? Which is, it's not like Maxima. A pogno magic trick? A pogno mint tea? Or this is short for a pugno mount. Like, for example, if there's a log of wood, like <laughs> you broke a tree and there's a log and then you mount the log <laughs> and fly around. I don't know. Or maybe like Hermione conjured canaries. We can conjure like, I don't know, an ostrich <laughs> and ride the ostrich. I don't know. Guys, let me know what you think MT stands for. Ah, oh, next one is freaking amazing. Pier Totum Locomotor. You you make statues, you make you basically you make an army with this spell and you make the army march and do stuff for you. Isn't it great? You can live a lot if you can you can live a dream of being a dictator in Hogwarts Legacy sequel. This spell technically exists in the game. There are animated statues, all of these suits of armor are animated. It's a matter of making us let that happen. Tarantalegra. Okay, this is cool. So it's basically Happy Feet, like the movie. Basically, this spell make people break into a dance. I mean, that would be freaking hilarious if you could cast at all the enemies and they're just doing a break dance <laughs> during the battle. Oh my God, that'd be so awesome if we could also pair it with the singing hex and you'll have like a symphony rock opera. <laughs> Everybody's dancing. It's like Broadway. It's a dance and it's a battle at the same time. I will kill you, Hufflepuff. But actually, we do have a version of this spell. It's not a spell. They're basically socks that are en enchanted with Talentalegra. So that's an example of how it will look, or at least one of the versions. Hey guys, I'm an actual choreographer. If you need motion capture of like sick dance moves, um, there's contact information um, listed below. Next. <laughs> The last freaking spell in this list, Eos. 
I forgot. Oh, <laughs> trip jinx, which is like it's a spell. It's a jinx that makes people fall over. Could be dangerous for like, I don't know, if you push Professor Hecat. <laughs> but I mean, probably this one and Obliviate are the only two that are like, nah. if they are or not in the sequel, I'm not going to, you know, it's going to be fine. <laughs> but the fact that all of these spells are were considered for this game makes me so excited of what they're tr trying to do with the sequel. Potentially, it's like I'm seeing their ambition. I'm seeing you know, the developers desire to make this into a franchise because these fans are fans. They are getting, they get excited about these spells as much as we do. They're like, yo, let's make these spells do these crazy stuff. And they do them because the current combat, the current spells look phenomenal. And I'm just so excited whatever they're going to bring in the sequel and with the spells, locations, new schools maybe or another thing so that's something that we're going to talk about in the new video but guys thank you so much for making it all the way here let me know which spells would you out of all of these love to see the most if you like this video make sure to hit that like button really helps out and if you like this type of content subscribe to my channel for more wizarding world content but guys thank you so much for watching i'll see you next time butter beers on me